Welcome to the channel guys, Diego Tech Life here. Today we have an unboxing of the Google um, Nest Hub and this was uh, $49, $49.99 at Best Buy which is today Black Friday and is also $49 at Walmart and Target um, those three major dealers there uh, selling this I guess trying to get rid of their, their current stock uh, since the Nest Hub Max is is out now, um, but I don't, I've never seen it. I never really messed with this personally. So today's gonna be my unboxing, even though it's a little late. Mm -hmm. um, so stick around. Welcome to Techie Life. All right, so let's get started here. Um, you know, Google Nest. This doesn't really, not really that much of a different from the regular Google, except it has a screen. But you know, it is one of the Google's newer products, uh, the new lineup that they're starting here. So here's one of the couple things that Google can do: uh, can set up appointments, uh, search for whatever's around you, shows you cameras that are connected to the network. Um, you know, blah blah blah. Uh, the cool thing is it has YouTube and photos and I believe it's also with Chromecast. It has Chromecast built in, I believe. Uh, let me see. Yeah, right there. So it works with Android, Android and iOS and Chromecast built in. So it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Um, one thing I like about the Google is you can play um, not just at one Google, but you can play multiple Google uh, Google Homes together, uh, which kind of is pretty pretty nice. Uh, one thing I was looking on this one is, let me see if it shows me here, uh, I guess it doesn't show me, I was looking at the Lenovo, but it tells you what, what kind of uh, Wi-Fi it is, and it's an AC Wi-Fi, which I believe this is also AC Wi-Fi. Uh, that's important because this can go, um, this can stream um, at, a, at higher rates than just the, the music um, portion. So since you have the, the video, you want it to kind of have a, a pretty pretty fast Wi-Fi connection. So let's get this started. Let's cut it right here. Oh yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's pretty satisfying. Yep. Alright, I think that's enough. It's enough cutting for one day here. Um, let's go ahead and slide this out. Uh, let's take the plastic off first. And let's do the slide here. <laughs> Finally, uh, like it's a little hologram, and hologram that you know this is Google, um, a real Google product here. So here it is, uh, the Google Nest Hub. We are presented with it right away. Uh, it's pretty, pretty decent, pretty nice. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen this already in. In stores here. So what I see when I see this, I see this kind of like as a tablet with the speaker built in. Which uh, I mean, I guess that's kind of what it is. It looks like it at least. Let's see what it comes with in the box here. All right. So we have. Uh, let's get started here. Connect the power adapter to your Google Nest Hub, and download the Google Home app. On your store, blah 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 blah. If you are purchasing one of these, you probably may already have um, Google, so you probably already know most of the stuff, anyway. So let's get this going. So let's uh, go ahead and pull up this power adapter. And it seems, let's see, here. it seems to be the same as uh, the Google Mini, I believe. Well, no, it's not. Huh. Let's see here. So, this one, oh, I don't know if I can see this here. Um, 120. Um, hmm. Okay, so it's very hard to see. Let's see what we can read here. Output is 14 volts right here. 14 volts at 1.1 amps. So I don't know if that's the same as a Google, um, a Google Home. Although it does fit, 
and the broken one that I showed earlier. Although it does fit, I'm not too sure if it's the same one. Anyways, whatever. So that's already there. That's out of the way. Let me see if I can uh, find a way and somewhere to plug this. So, stand by. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, remove this little plastic protector here. to come apart. Oh, that right here. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's plug this bad boy in. Seems to be a mute button, some sort of uh, other button here, I don't know what that is. And that's it. Let's start this up. Maybe that's a pause. Hi! To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Yep, that sure is the volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and sync this uh, since I'm using my phone. And we'll uh, go through the motions here. <laughs> Alright! Here's my YouTube video playing. I'm actually casting it from my phone here. And check this out. Look how, how loud it gets. So, the HP laptop here. And if you see those little humps here, I really want to I want to talk about that is pretty loud. <laughs> wow. Well, um. Anyways, we can control YouTube through here or somewhat control. It's not it's not the full uh, what I would like. Um, but let's see if we can stop here. We can disconnect from our stuff here. And actually, you can cast from here to somewhere else. Interesting. Anyways, let's get out of this. YouTube. Uh, this is it. So, you know, we have a few little art, whatever. You can upload it with your own pictures from your Google Photos. Uh, it tells you here the, the weather here. When you click on it, it'll actually give you some of the, you know, weather stuff here. It tells me how it's going in a couple of days ahead of time. So, what else? What else? What else? Uh, if we go to the bottom, we can control the brightness, make it brighter and whatnot. Uh, there is an automatic ambient, uh, what do you call it, sensor here. And that sensor is, if I, you know, if I cover it up, it gets dimmer as it goes. And if I let it go, it gets brighter. Um, volume, I don't know if they'll do not disturb. This is where you put your alarms here. Um, which makes it a lot easier than putting on your phone. Uh, that's so you can report stuff here. Uh, let's go and get out of there. Settings. So, here you can change, I guess, the network stuff. Gives you stuff about the device. Um, it did have to do a, an update, which is fine for me. Uh, let's see if we can send feedback. Uh, let's see what this is. Some stuff that's probably needed. Um, yeah. It's actually, it's not too bad. Um, you know, it gives you some sort of, you know, um, stories or your music, whatever. Things that, of course, you know, Google would, would probably want to you know, recommend stuff to you and whatnot. But overall, it's pretty good. Um, you can control your lights here. If you have any cameras, you can control your cameras here. Lights. We can broadcast to all other Googles. You have a thermostat. I already have a Nest thermostat here, so you know this works perfectly fine. Um, other than that, I mean it's it's pretty decent. It's it's kind of like like I said, having a tablet. It, I mean a little bit more um, restrictive. I'd I'd, I'd say um, I would play some music, but I don't want to get you know copyrighted kind of stuff here. 
Um, I believe you can also call people. Um, not too sure how that works. Or I'm not too sure who I can call my... Let me see if I can call my daughter here. Hey Google, add household contacts. YouTube. Say hi to all the subscribers. Hi. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Bye. So, is is it worth it? You know, um, I'll just say absolutely. I mean, where else can you get a you know screen? This is. You know, about a six inch screen, you know, a decent speaker, you know, not, not too bad. Um, smart capabilities, you can't do, you know, it's restricted a lot, but this is not meant for you to use it as a tablet, it's meant to be stationary, you know, it's meant to be kind of like an alarm clock or, you know, you know where you check every day to say, hey, what's, you know, what's my day doing, or whatever. And this is perfect for $49, you can't go wrong. The one, the hundred, you know, seventy dollar one, the bigger one. Mm, I mean, it's nice to have a big screen. You can do a lot more, you know, probably more productive. But this, is, this is probably worth it. I would say this is worth it for sure. You know, but until next time, guys. See y'all later. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a great day. Happy holidays. Peace.